Today, let's first learn about a little bit of marketing and social media again. Are you aware of creator's economy? It is people who create content, engage with their audience and then monetize their content. If you haven't realized already, all social media platforms are pushing more and more creators and they are also creating a lot of changes in their platform so that they can attract a lot more creators, people who want to create content on their platform. Because when these people create content, it brings you, that is the audience on these platforms. Then bigger brands also want to jump on these platforms, seeing that, you know, an audience of so-and-so demographics and age is already there. And then these bigger brands end up spending more money on these platforms for ads and other bits. And that is how these platforms end up making their money. Now, the second thing you need to understand today is algorithms. The content you engage with repeatedly repeats for you. Now, the second thing you need to understand is algorithms. Now, the second thing you need to understand is algorithms. The content that you engage with repeatedly repeats more on your timeline. These algorithms are also important for people who run business pages on all these social media channels. Because the more content we push out in a certain number of frequency with certain number of hashtags, the more it will reach more people. But why am I telling you all of this? That is because tarot card readers, the ones who are online, people like me, we are also partly content creators. And to survive in this pool of creators and keep you engaged, we have to keep on constantly launching content that is engaging and for a lot of people what happens is apart from all the knowledge base or any such sort of content from a page which is about divination the basic expectation is that can you put out more predictions can you put out content that tells me more about my life that predicts things about my life because that is where the excitement is right so we also keep on launching multiple readings online readings youtube readings select a picture and we will tell your future that is because us as business pages are also trying to play up on the algorithms and ensure that our content is reaching maximum people. So now where is the problem and why are you telling all of this to us, Casey? Because you, you are the problem. Your coping mechanism is the problem. I'm giving you this background so that you understand that a lot of the creators that are out there in the market, they have to do this simply to play up on the social media algorithms because the social media is pushing more creators into this business by ensuring that, you know, like if you keep on uh, creating engaging content, we are going to give you the benefits by monetizing your channel and we are going to give you more opportunities, more reach. And of course, there is a certain level of high in like reaching more people and the validation that comes from fame, maybe. But in this entire scenario, you become the problem. How are you the problem? Because of all of this madness that is happening, it has a direct impact on you. By ensuring that creators like us keep on putting out more content, which is mostly about like readings, know your future, somehow it ends up becoming your coping mechanism. And that especially when you are in a very low phase of your life. You know, like earlier we used to wait for like newspapers in the morning just to read that little snippet of our horoscope or uh, trips to astrologers or tarot card readers were exclusive. They were not something that you just did for like time pass. But because of so much content available out there in terms of readings and predictions and astrology, thousands and lakhs of videos, now each time you feel slightly low and you want to make yourself feel better, you simply hop over to one of these readings. So you keep on watching these videos on a loop, waiting for like that one positive message or waiting like for the reader to say something that you actually want to hear. So what is all this? This is just your coping mechanism and this is you wanting a sense of control. This is also a form of illusionment, you know, where you feel that just by listening to a particular video or by listening to uh, uh, a video that is talking about your future, that resonates with you, it's like you're having control of the situation, which is not necessarily true. Just by hearing, you tend to feel, oh, the better days are near. And most of them are anyway. So you just fall into a trap, you know, wasting like precious time of yours. For few people, it could be hours. For few people, it could be many important minutes by watching these videos on a loop or like right after one, playing another one continuously for the same topic. When actually you could really be in control of your life by taking steps and actions. Remember, the control of your mind is in your hands and so is the control of your life. 
I want to talk more about online readings and topics, but I'm going to do that in my next video. Till then, make sure you do not have bad coping mechanisms.